Have you ever stopped to think about how traffic lights actually work and who controls the signals? We're about to go behind the scenes at SA's Traffic Management Centre to get to the bottom of this complex web of technologies. There's a whole lot that goes into how traffic lights work. In fact, it's a combination of people, cameras, computers and algorithms that help commuters get from A to B each day. Adelaide's traffic signals are managed by a computerised system called SCATS, an Australian-designed program that's actually used in 27 countries around the world. Here at Adelaide's Traffic HQ, Michael Southern explains how this intelligence system knows when exactly to trigger a green light. So what actually triggers at an intersection is these detectors in the road. So if you pull up right in the middle of that figure eight, even if you're a bicycle, if you've got metal rims, it will detect the presence of a vehicle there. These smart detectors can also determine how fast cars are travelling and the distance between vehicles. This information is used by the traffic technicians to help move traffic more efficiently. Next time you're stopped at a set of lights, look out for a silver box sitting just behind the traffic lights. They mightn't look like much, but these boxes actually house all the computer equipment needed to run the traffic signals. There are also cameras sitting on top of the traffic lights. These are the eyes on the road for when something unexpected occurs. This huge video wall helps the traffic technicians to keep on top of what's happening out on the road at any given time. These cameras were particularly useful early one Friday morning when a truck caught on fire on the southeastern freeway. Staff used the cameras out on the road to see if any other vehicles were caught up in the incident before quickly dropping the speed limit to 40 k's an hour to protect passing motorists. Intelligent thermal heat cameras in the Heysen tunnels on the southeastern freeway can help detect whether a vehicle has stopped or is going the wrong way and can raise an alarm if a person or animal is detected on the road. But it's not just traffic lights that the team has to worry about. They coordinate everything from incident management with large events like Clipsal 500 and opening and closing bridges to helping emergency services get to their destination quickly and even removing animals from the road. During spring in particular, koalas are known to wander into the Heysen tunnels. Luckily for this koala, the truck managed to stop just in time. The cameras then detected a stopped vehicle in the tunnel, which raised an alert at the traffic management centre. Staff responded by closing the lane, dropping the speed limit and calling a wildlife officer to collect the koala. Along with footage of traffic, technicians also refer to a second video wall full of interactive data to help them manage traffic flow. You can see here where we've got road closures and this is related to the two and down under and we've got some closures in Victoria Square as well. And up here you can see there's an incident, there's a water blowout. So further up um, the northwestern side of the city we've got a, a major water blowout there. So it's a way to actually look at what's going on on the state network. With more than 47,000 kilometres of road network to monitor in South Australia, there's never a dull moment for staff at the Traffic Management Centre. Uh, we've had incidences where um, we had wedding parties standing in the middle of an intersection trying to have photographs taken of themselves with a red light camera. Uh, that was quite a few years ago. Uh, we've had people dancing in the middle of the road, so I guess one of the beauties of working in the Traffic Management Centre is you never know what's going to happen next, so there's always something interesting happening in here. 